Well, Jimmy's boss tells us he has regained his sense of humor and is doing better every hour. Certainly good news tonight. And meanwhile, the men charged with shooting him and killing their accomplice made their first court appearance in Independence. KNBC 9's Peggy Bright was there. Something went terribly wrong in this house Friday night. A 16 year old was killed, and Jimmy was critically injured in what appears to have started as a home invasion. 18 year old Dustin Donlin is now charged with murder, and so is 41 year old Philip Kisner. Friends of the teens believe Kisner was behind the burglary. He was also the boyfriend of the dead teen's mom. Dylan Thompson was with Donlin and Kisner and was shot seconds after Jimmy Faisler, allegedly by Donlin or Kisner. Jimmy says he walked into the break in at his home late Friday night and was immediately shot. When he ran outside, he told police he heard another gunshot. At the courthouse today, the teen's family and friends put the blame on Kisner, saying the teenagers were just trying to fit in. But they also say their heart goes out to Jimmy Faisler, known in this community for being a royal super fan. I don't think anybody deserved to get shot that night. I don't think anything should happen the way it did. And we are very sorry for the homeowner. I mean, it, it's not fair at all. That's It's definitely not fair for him and his family and everybody that, that he loves and loves him. The defendants are jailed tonight on $250,000 bond apiece. They're due back in court on April 15th. In Independence, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. And court documents show both Donlin and Kissner admit to being part of the burglary, but they blame each other for the shootings. Dylan Thompson had been enrolled in independent schools until this past January.